The odds Americans uh, could see another stimulus package soon are starting to tick up a little bit, but will we see it before Election Day? Cheryl Cassoni is live with the latest. Cheryl. That's the big question here, Charles. How are you? And, you know, as we get closer to the election, and Washington seems focused on the Supreme Court nomination, the odds that we won't get that package actually are starting to tick a little bit higher. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, though, did say another plan could be possible, but at a lesser cost. And here's why this is kind of iffy right now. This new proposal would be an aid package worth $2.4 trillion, not $3 trillion that she wanted, and it would include things like enhanced unemployment benefits, direct payments to Americans, another round of the Paycheck Protection Program that would offer small business loans and aid for airlines. Now, the question, can she get on the same page as the Treasury Secretary and White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, who would prefer a package worth about $1.3 trillion. What compounds the worry from investors right now is a past indication from the Treasury Secretary. His top number would be $1.5 trillion, and we've actually heard that from the president as well. Now, Pelosi said she did talk with Secretary Mnuchin on Sunday yesterday. She plans to discuss the stimulus with him again today at some point. She was on MSNBC earlier today, Charles. She said when he's ready to come back to the table, we're ready to have that conversation, but he's got to come back with a much higher number, more money to get that job done. So the more back and forth this goes, Charles, the less likely that we're going to get that package done and agreed to. They're just still very far apart, unfortunately. Yeah, but remember, I said 1.5 from the very beginning. I'm telling you, whether it happens before or after election, that is the number I think we're going to end up with. The irony will be just amazing. Cheryl, right. thank you very much.